Good morning, Ricky. Good morning to you. It's Thursday, a beautiful <laughs> nice. day in the neighborhood. And here's what's happening in celebrity news, y'all. We got to pray, y'all, for Halle Berry. Lord Jesus, honey. It's being reported, y'all, that Halle Berry's her string of bad luck with her damn baby daddy, honey. It's continuing. Now, they're saying she's going to pay $8,000 a month in child support, y'all, for her son, Maceo. That's with her ex-husband, Olivier Martinez. Now, they're saying that the Oscar-winning actress, y'all, will share joint custody of Maceo 9 with Olivier. Olivia. Now they're saying Hallie and um, Oliver, they both 57 years old. They met on the movie set of Dark Tide in 2012 and they got married in a private ceremony in France back in 2013. Now they're saying, yeah, that they announced their divorce in 2015 and it was finalized, you know, recently. Now they're saying Hallie is ordered, y'all, to pay Oliver nearly $8,000 a month, y'all, in child support according to the court, de- the court documents. Now, they say she's going to pay out of a 4.3% of any income that she earns that exceeds $2 million annually. Now, they're saying Are you Oliver. Serious? Yes, they're saying Oliver, y'all, uh, will have regular visitations with his son who lives in California with Hallie. Now, they're saying Hallie is responsible, y'all, for their son's private school tuition, 100% of his extracurricular activities, and his medical care. Now, they're saying the French actor is a great dad, honey. He frequently spends time with his son. Now, they're saying this is the deal. Now, he's um, allowed, y'all, one phone or video call with the um, other parent before bed. That's the child for no longer than 15 minutes. And they're saying, um, Helen and Olivia, y'all must refrain from bad talking to each other in front of their wonderful child. They're saying for his part, Oliver, y'all, is required to make a reasonable effort to find a job, y'all, so he could contribute something for little Maceo. That's her son's name, little Maceo. She already had a job. Uh, don't no man ain't got Ooh. no business accepting money from a woman. Period. Mm. Yeah. Get you a blow up mattress in a one bedroom efficiency and start over. Man, you don't eat off no woman. I don't care how much money she got. Yeah. I'm a real, I wouldn't care if I was married to Open Whipper. I wouldn't take a damn dime. I just yeah. wouldn't. Mm. Yeah. And, I just and wouldn't. It's just against manhood. Yeah. And I know eight thousand dollars a month you get from a woman. What kind of man? What, who but, but that's dudes. nothing, though. She was paying the daughter, baby daddy, $16,000 a month, honey. Ooh. So she just went to the judge. Just she got it. Yeah, so. That, ain't, I mean, that, ain't, that, don't, that don't seem fair if you yeah. are an able-bodied man. The dude ain't in no wheelchair. Right. And if right. you're in a wheelchair, you get disability. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Kind of but you know, the other thing, too, Ricky, is that sometimes men stay home. You know, men go on paternity leave. Men quit their jobs to ch- take care of their kids. So if you're telling me that. I can't work and I'm taking care of the kid for all of this time, I'm not saying in that case, but I just want to defend the fathers out there who taking on that role. Because, you know, a lot of times when you look at mom versus dad, when a dad is out with his kids, what they say? Oh, you babysitting? Right. And it's, it's, you know, so parent parenting is equal. So on the flip side of that, you know. $8,000 a month from, That is a from, lot. From that a is woman. a lot. Like or whatever, you know what I'm saying? If, 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 if you can go get you a job at, at an oil change place uh, mm-hmm. or whatever, make your little money in your little bedroom apartment. The kids just want to be around you. It ain't about what you got and how much money you got. What you you need money? You need you need for Holly Berry to give you money to help take care of your kid. Right, that don't right. make sense to me. He probably but saying got, that they want the kid to have the same lifestyle for when they with mom and when they went. Man, dad. them damn kids be glad to be around their dad. In a, the kids be glad to be around their dad in a one bedroom efficiency, playing the video game and going somewhere riding some roller coasters right. or, or having a good ass time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't understand that taking get, money from a woman. Period. I don't care if she's a billionaire. I'm not taking a dime. That's just yeah, me. But, but if he was black, though, I'm sure they wouldn't give him nothing. But he's of European descent, and these men have to live a certain lifestyle. And Hallie oh chose God, that lifestyle yeah, with And they're yeah. both actors, so they're probably not going to be getting jobs anytime soon. Yeah, so there's so that, too. Got to pray. Poor Hallie, bless her. So she should have got with Lee Ron Nose. Uh, where's her? <laughs> <laughs> but anyway. She got her Leroy now, though, her new yeah. man. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah he ain't getting no hunt. babies out of it. Yep. All right, moving on. <laughs> Another celebrity news, y'all. Irv Gotti, baby, is speaking out. He said, why can't I find love with a woman in her damn 20s. Irvin Lorenzo Jr., a.k.a. Irv Gotti, is desperately looking for love with women in their 20s. Now, Irv is only 53 Special years K. old. He's only 53 years old, and they're saying he's like most middle-aged men going through a midlife crisis, honey, who aren't shocked to learn that women only want them for their doggone money. Now, they're saying that the Murder Inc. founder opened up about his experiences on, on a recent podcast hosted by Noray. He said, when he asked about being monogamous, the music producer replied, I love, and I would love to have one bad woman that's with me 100%. He said, I just don't think that it's out there for me. Then he also went to say that he's, they say he's wary of younger women with daddy issues who want him to pay 
There are bills, though, he said, but he's going to settle down again with a woman that's of childbearing what? age. Yes. He said, quote, you know, chicks, honey, be rubbing me the wrong way. He said, you can't get me, honey. You always asking for mess, asking for money, asking me for things because you know I got it. He said, that's the fastest way to lose me. Now, they're saying he recently dated a 26-year-old. In, in their 20s, that's what they're going to do. In their 20s, they ain't got nothing. They ain't built right. up nothing. They working yeah, at but- Arby's. Yeah, but they said, honey, he, he said he recently um, dated a 26-year-old gorgeous Dominican woman, honey. You know who he said lost his interest when she asked him for money. He said, where does she get off asking me for $25,000? And did in the yeah, back of my head. For that now. That's a that's mistake. That's a lot. Yeah, you don't yeah, ask but, nobody for no $25,000. Lashes do not cost that much. That is a lot. <laughs> <laughs> he said yeah, that he's giving up on finding the perfect 20 year because they only want him for his money. He said, but that's um, why he don't think you it's going to cost him. You don't want nobody in their damn nobody 20 years old. What you finna do with somebody 20 years old? But they mature, Ricky. So they, they got 20 not, year old. not mature. mature. You don't think? No, they're just trying to go get a lace front, some lashes, and, and some drinks or whatever. Yeah, you Brazilian want. wax. Yep, he need a, a Bertha. Get like, you a, a Bertha, <laughs> put a nice casserole, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah, make you a, a, a nice dish, scratch your back in the right spot. Yeah, put some oxtails in the pressure cooker, that's what you need. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> well, I hope Irv find the look. So, you know, it, it was saying he lost wake up and pray with, him, pray with him before he go on stage. Yeah, they going to read two scriptures. <laughs> yeah, what, what, what scriptures she'll read? What's... When a man finds an older woman, he finds a good thing. <laughs> That's in the red words. <laughs> the color of the day is one of my favorite. My color of the day is almond joy. On the high end, you say almond joy. And on the lunch, you say light brown. That's your color for the day. All right, y'all give it up for Gary with the team. Yeah. All right, 13 minutes after the hour, y'all. Today on What's Trending uh, from the Republican debate uh, to Trump going to jail. Jeff Johnson finna break down everything you need to know. We got all that coming up next. Rick Smiley Morning Show.